This beautiful shower curtain here, but I'm not gonna use it for a shower curtain, guys. I'm gonna cut this and use it to make kitchen curtains. And this was, I think, $6.99. The price got ripped off. And this is what Jacqueline Smith. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, guys, hope y'all are keeping safe out there, okay? Keep safe. Promise me you will, okay? Comment down below that you all are keeping safe, all right? So let's proceed with this video. So as you can see in front of you guys, this is a shower curtain. So what I'm gonna do guys, it's already folded in half lengthwise from here to there. Okay, so it's doubled. So I'm gonna fold it again in another half. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the camera up so you guys could see what I'm doing. Hi guys, this is Sharla Rose and welcome back to my channel, Design Aesthetics by Sharla Rose. So guys, if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you guys for sticking around. And if you're a newbie, oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day so far as you can see guys, it's sunny outside this is my window right here and i hope you guys are keeping safe like safe safe six feet kind of safe all right so in this video guys i will be making some kitchen curtains all right the fabric i'll be using i've had it for like two months it's actually a shower curtain so i'm gonna turn that into like two sets of kitchen curtain so i'll show you guys the fabric that i have so this is the curtain, the shower curtain, okay? As you can see, in fact, it's a shower curtain, right? Shower curtain. So I'm gonna fold it in an even half here. I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm just gonna lay it on the floor just like this. Let me kinda adjust the camera for you guys. Okay guys, so now that I've adjusted the camera, you maybe could see all the stuff right here because I'm sewing. I was making some masks and stuff and I said, you know what, I might as well make this curtain because I've been wanting to do it for so long and um, I just keep putting it off. So I was sewing some masks, so if you see scraps and stuff like on the floor, pay it no mind. So this is the shower curtain guys and like I said, fold it in half lengthwise right make sure it's even i mean if it's not even it's okay but try so fold it in half like so right okay guys so now that i have it in half like this i'm gonna fold it in half again come on, come on. okay so i'm gonna fold it in half again like so, so it's folded twice. So now that I have it in half like this, I am gonna be cutting, all right? I am trying to make like a swag curtain. I'm trying to make like a swag. So this folded side here, you don't wanna start cutting from here. You wanna start cutting from this edge here where all edges meet, okay? So, I'm gonna start by cutting. And I'm gonna go up like this. I'm making like a semicircle. So I'm gonna hit like not half of the fabric, but a little below half, like around here. But when I get to here, I'm going up. And done. Like I'm basically like I'm cutting a half moon, okay? So let's jump into that. Where did this thing just happen? I wonder how I told you I was doing. 
cooking a lot, right? And I got cut. I, I was cooking all the noodles. And it's like the steam made the cut go away. I can't find it. Oh, wow. Well, you're so lucky. Okay, guys. So now that I have it like this, I am just going to stitch along the edges. And actually, I feel like I want to cut this up a little bit more. But even though I'm cutting this up a little bit more, I am still gonna go meet that end right there. Okay? Okay. So as you can see, guys, this is what it's looking like. Let me see if I... Let me see if I could get you guys a little closer. So, as a matter of fact, I'm going to turn it around. So, that's basically the shape, okay? So, this would be the middle of your curtain. These are the ends of your curtain. All right, and of course you're gonna cut the top here because you want two pieces, right? Two sets of curtains. So proceed to cut it. And guys, by no means does this have to be perfect. Just do your best, okay? And on the topic of that, guys, I also have a family vlogging channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I just started maybe like, I want to say almost a month now. And I am trying to do like family oriented stuff like pranks and games and. I'm also doing my wellness and fitness challenges over there, vloggings like I said. So if you want to go check that out guys, please visit that channel. It's called The Proud Family Roses and the whole roses came from my middle name which is Rosemary and my granddaughter also got my middle name, her name is Rose. So her name is Noraya Rose. So that's where the whole rose comes in. Okay. So now that it's like this, guys. This is what your curtain is going to look like. Okay. It's, it's a regular size window right I want to say about a 30 inch wide window so that's like standard size but I needed it this long because I wanted it to look like a swag curtain so when I bunch it up all this will be hanging on the side okay so I'm gonna start sewing and the scraps is gonna come in real handy I'm gonna use the scraps to bunch it up like so. See what I'm saying? So then it's gonna hang like that. But let's start sewing, okay? So I'm gonna pull this apart and I'm gonna put the rod pocket area in up top here. Okay, I'm gonna put the rod pocket area all across the top. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, guys. And I'm just gonna fold this like double fold, you know, for the pocket area. But uh, and then I'm gonna pin. If you guys want to, you could iron this. It's much easier than just pinning it across. Whichever way works. All right. So I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse, so things go much faster. Okay. So let's do that. So I got done pinning the curtains, both pieces are done, 
all right and I didn't do anything to the bottom part yet because it's just so easy to you could either fold and stitch you could zigzag and stitch or you could serge and stitch whichever one you feel like. and I put this little dip in it guys because I wanted it to have more crunch like this when I put my extra in so I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine right now and sew this bad boy up okay come on done sewing the curtain I did the top for the rod and the bottom all right and as you can see there's a little dip right here okay okay guys so this is what the curtain is looking like so far I got the rod pocket stitched I got the edges stitched all the way around and I also put a gathering stitch right in the center here so I'm gonna put my bands on right now and finish this off okay guys so I got done with the curtains I added the little tab right here to kind of hold up that area there and this is what it's looking like so I'm gonna take it to I'm gonna take it to the kitchen and um, I have a surprise for you guys while I'm doing that so come on okay guys here is the surprise <laughs> are you all surprised I still have my Christmas curtains up in summer <laughs> but it's gonna go right now you can stop laughing now <laughs> stop laughing I'm talking to you stop laughing I'm gonna put it up right now so you won't have nothing else to laugh about okay next time you see this you'll see kitchen summer curtains okay this is the curtain at the window and this is the little swag area here that I cut in that kind of way so it goes up like that comes down on the other side so that's what it's looking like uh, it re reminds me of lime so that's where the green comes in lemon limes and lemonade okay so that's it guys thank you for watching this video please remember to like share comment Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified of every single time I put a new video up. So until the next video, see you later.